Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Denise Salcedo here, and I am so, so happy to bring you today's guest is none other than Raylan Caster. So Raylan is Lola White on the big show, show streaming now on Netflix, and she's going to tell us all about it here today. Raylan, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You know, I got to watch the show and I just love doing it. I love the entire cast. It was just a very fun, family friendly show. Um, I think something that Netflix really needed. But before we go ahead and talk about that, I kind of want to jump back a little bit backwards and talk about how you got started in acting in the first place. Sure. Yeah, so I've been acting for as long as I can remember. Um, it's just always been something that's been a part of my life. Um, I grew up in Wichita, Kansas, and so there wasn't a ton of acting there. So I originally started in local theater when I was like seven or eight. Um, and then I went on to local commercials and indie films. And then I did a self tape for the movie Logan. It's like the Wolverine movie. Yeah. Um, and an agency in California saw it and they wanted to sign me from it, um, which was really exciting. And so from there, I decided to move to California. And since I moved, I've been doing it seriously. That's so cool. And I like the fact that, you know, it was something that you kind of wanted to do, but then you made the full move into California. And that yeah. says a lot about who you are. Like, you're just like ready to do whatever it takes. Like, there's so many people that, yes, being in the movies or on TV sounds like a really awesome thing to do, but it takes a lot of courage to come out and move out here to Los Angeles. What was your first impression when you started going out into auditions and all of that? Um, my first audition that I ever did, I had like a terrible stomach flu and I was like super sick. And so I couldn't really be nervous because all I could think about was how nauseous I was. Oh my God, that's um, terrible. Yeah. So that's like what I remember my first impression being, but it was, I remember when I went in the room, like everything in my mind just like completely cleared, even the nauseousness. And it was just, it, it was amazing. Um, my audition experiences have been great. In fact, when I work on shows for long periods of time, I like start missing auditioning, even though the point of auditioning is to be working. Um, it's just oh my so God, I don't think I've ever heard that before. I always saw auditions as like the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they're fun because you can, you get to be so many different people during such a short period of time because each time you audition, you have to become a completely different character, which I really like. That's really cool. And I'm so happy to hear you say that because I'm sure that makes you like, uh, when you go into these rooms, that's what probably ca captivates the casting directors to be like, Ray Lynn, we want her. Like, let's get her on here because you come on and you're so positive about the audition process, period. Um, yeah. So now, what were some of your favorite early projects that you started off doing in the beginning? Um, so the first one that I d ever did was Just Add Magic. Um, it was an Amazon show. I was a co-star and I just remember going to set. I shot one day and I just remember going to set and just completely falling in love with it. Like I went home and I was like, like, this is what I want to do. Um, it was just incredible. And then me, myself and I was something I did back in 2017. Um, it was the first series regular that I ever was. And it was incredible. Um, I met some of my lifelong friends on there and just the whole experience was so amazing. And it's so cool. I think the key thing that you said there was that you really, really liked it. And it was something that you never felt before, like doing mm -hmm. this. And I yeah. always think that, you know, when you know what you're doing, you know what you love when you have that, like, I did it feeling afterwards, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's totally. awesome. So speaking of the I did it feeling, um, hello, the big show show on <laughs> Netflix. Congratulations, <laughs> Raylan. I mean, Thank let's you. go ahead. I, I, there's so much to talk about. So let's just start off with the fact of how you landed the role of Lola. Let's start there. So I, it started off as just a normal audition. Um, in fact, I had no clue what it was even for. It was titled like Untitled Family Multicam for a streaming service. I didn't even know it was for Netflix. Um, and I remember having lunch with my agent before the audition and he like hinted at it being a wrestler who was playing the dad, which I was like, what? Um, so I had a little bit of insight going into it. Um, but yeah, so I went to that first audition just doing it how I would do any. And then I got a call back and I had to go and meet with the two producers and, 
um, the two creators of the show. So I went and I did that. And the same day that I did that, I left, I was actually going with my friends to walk on like Melrose. I had a friend (laughs) from out of town and my dad was like dropping us off from the call back to Melrose. And he's like started honking on the horn. And I was like, what is he doing? I'd just gotten out of the car and I was like, what just happened? So I go back to the car and he tells me that I got a screen test for it. Um, the same day, which was crazy. Um, and I, but that's when we kind of found out that it was for Netflix and kind of more information about it. So I went to the screen test um, and it went incredible. And they were able to hold me for like two weeks um, without telling me anything. Um, but they had to tell me at the end of the two weeks. And we found out on July 3rd of 2019 that I had landed the part. And it was just, I mean, it was just a dream come true. I, yeah. Like, what was the, like, what was your reaction? You know, I feel like right now, because Netflix is so immensely popular, uh, I mean, everyone watches their content. Like, I can't, like, put over how popular it is. And here you are landing this role on this very popular streaming service with a WWE wrestler. Like, what was that like for you? It was absolutely insane. Um, I actually, at the beginning of 2019, I made like something that I have, like the goals that I wanted in my career to achieve. I love that. (laughs) And um, I achieved them all with this show. Um, I wanted to get, uh, I wanted to get a screen test for a multicam and I did that. And then I wanted to book a multicam because I'd never worked on multicam before. And I also wanted to work for Netflix. So I did all of them with this one show. And it was just like, it was super surreal. Um, Because Netflix to me, it's just like, I feel like, in my opinion, the best thing that I could have done. Um, I watch Netflix constantly. And it was just so exciting to be able to see that. And then to see my face on Netflix, like something even crazier, like I turned on my Netflix and my face was staring back at me. I just don't even like, I feel like I'm dreaming. And you guys were trending at the top. I think you guys got to number three, number four, top US, like for a while, because I kept checking every single day. I would log on it because, you know, I'm on Netflix every day and I would keep seeing it consistently on there. And I was like, that is so cool. How did that feel seeing that? I, it was, it was, it didn't feel real because I had, I've done, I've worked before, but I've never had something that really like hit Um, the first series regular that I did, it was only one season and I never had like that hit. And whenever I saw that it was trending in the top 10 worldwide. So all over the world. And I, it was just like, I didn't even know, I did not expect it at all. Um, I just, I'm the type of person that I am positive, but I don't want to get my hopes up when it comes to those type of things. And to see that happen was just, it felt so unreal. It was incredible. Like a reinforcement of all of your hard work, finally yeah. paying off, people seeing this passion that you've put into your work and all of that. So that's uh, really, really cool. And it's funny because when I did the interview with Paul, um, I w- went back and read the comments and everybody was like, oh, I could have watched more episodes of this or I yeah. can't wait for season two. How did you feel seeing those responses from like, what were your friends saying, your family, your fans, etc.? cetera? Yeah, so... All my friends watched it. They loved it. They thought it was kind of weird to see me because they were like, (laughs) they had to separate me from the character. Um, But to be able to have my friends be able to um, watch it and see like what I do, because I, it's something that they know that I am always working on. And I have a lot of like um, friends who aren't in the industry. So they don't kind of understand that aspect of it. Um, and to have them able to see like something that I'm putting so much time and effort and love and work into was really awesome. Um, my grandma was really excited Aww. because she, she always like rewatch, she tapes and rewatches like everything that I'm on. And so with Netflix, she can just watch it whenever she wants. Um, so she was really excited about that. Um, and to see the fans love it and tweet that they want a season two and that they're, they wish that there were more episodes it was just, it was so, it just, it just warmed my heart. It just, it made me so happy to see such a great, um, a great, uh, 
thought from the fans. Yeah, of course. Like you want, like, it always feels good when people say we want to see more of what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. So you got that, like that confirmation of that. So now, you know, the, fa- the cast was obviously really fun based on what I can tell from watching the show. Um, yeah. What was it like working with Paul and Allison and the girls? Like, what was that experience like for you? They were amazing. They're all so talented. Um, Paul was just, he was so great. He's the, he's the nicest person on the face of the planet. Um, and he's so smart too. Uh, he can walk in a room and be in it for five seconds and then walk out and just know everything that's happening in the room. (laughs) Oh my God. Um, He can tell you absolutely everything. Um, he can pick up on these little things and it's just, it's so impressive to me. Um, he's, he's so smart. And then Allison, who is just a powerhouse, she's incredible at what she does. She's so talented. She's someone that I'm so happy that I got to learn from because with this being my first multicam, I was nervous because it's, it's so different from single cam and to kind of get to watch her work and learn from her was incredible because she's done so many multicams and seeing her do it was just like, it was really cool to see how she worked and how she delivered lines and the energy that she brought. She brought another level. Um, and then the girls there, I'm the youngest of my real life siblings. And so I've never gotten to be like an older sibling. And with those two girls, I kind of got my real little sisters, which was really exciting. Um, I love them to pieces. I think they're so talented, especially for their age. I mean, the type of talent that comes out of their bodies is just (laughs) incredible for them being so tiny. Um, No, I love them to death. And it's always so much fun on set. That's really cool. And I know you guys had a, had a lot of fun outside the set. I know you guys did the Ariana Grande concert. I know you guys went to yes. Horror Nights. What was I'm that gonna... experience like? Oh my gosh. I don't even like, the Ariana Grande was crazy because I love her. I went to her concert like so long ago back in Kansas and I was like in the nosebleeds <laughs> and to be like up next to the stage was crazy. Um, that was so fun. And then Horror Nights was just a whole other experience. It was so insane because that was, I feel like the turning, like the point that I realized, um, how big of a following that big show has. Yeah. Um, we got mobbed, but it was like, it was, Wait, and this was at the Horror Nights, right? Yeah. So okay. we were at Horror Nights. Um, it was me, my dad, show Allison, and then her husband we all went together and we, I mean, there was the biggest crowd ever. We, Allison took this photo and it's like, you see show cause he's so tall, like in the middle of just this sea of people. Um, and that was the first time I realized like we could not walk, we were walking and every like 10 seconds, someone was like, Oh my God, that's the big show. <laughs> and Paul's such an incredible human being that he will take a photo and he will give an incredible experience to every single fan that comes up to him. Um, because that's what he loves to do. And so he's just, he's just great. And so, yeah, that was, a uh, me seeing that and seeing how many people love him and support him. Uh, it made me really excited for this show to come out. Right. Like you kind of grab the magnitude of it all. You're like, yeah. I'm working with this person and yeah. all these people want to take a photo with him. And it's mm-hmm. not like you can hide him. It's not like he can be disguised. No. Yeah. 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 I'm everyone saw him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. So now, you know, one of the things that Paul did mention to me, and I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Cause when I talked to him, he he was talking about all of you guys and like all yeah. the different things that you guys brought. One of the things he mentioned about you was that you love to make him cry or try <laughs> to make him cry on set. And then that once you like got him going and they would call oh cut that you would laugh at him. Tell us about yeah. it. Um, so from the beginning, we started shooting with episode four and episode four is that big cook off. Okay. Yeah. So for that being the first episode that we ever filmed, it was us constantly going head to head. And so we really got to bond in the very beginning and we really got to establish a type of relationship that was competitive. And so, um, it was just, that was so much fun. And that kind of like set the tone for what was to come. Um, so yeah, I mean, I knew how to, I knew how to work them. Um, and I just, I wanted to bring out, he is so talented and he will really connect with the scene. And I know that. And so there will be times that there's a scene where it's completely unscripted to cry and he'll just start crying. And 
he'll he'll get me going. I know on the final um, the final episode that we filmed live. So it was the final episode. Um, you can see when I punch him in the arm and I'm like, emotions make me punchy. I really was on the verge of tears because of him because he was crying. It was the last live taping. Um, we were all like super emotional. Um, so yeah, we get each other going. <laughs> well, you know, I really like that you uh, decided to bring that element into the show because, you know, you guys are father and daughter on the show. So obviously real families have that real emotion. So yeah. to sort of see that, that element brought into it, I think was like a really good call on your part. So that bravo to yeah. you on that. Um, Thank you. Know, you. Speaking of, you know, doing the live audiences, you know, we already know that he's used to being in front of a live audience all the time. What was the experience like for you? It was completely new. Um, I had never done multicam in my life. I had only done single cams. So everything that I had ever done was completely enclosed. Um, and so to have an audience was, I was a little nervous the first episode that we shot because... I didn't know what to expect. And by the, by the first scene that we shot, by the first take of the first scene, all those nerves were out the window. And it was just incredible to be able to get instant gratification from the lines because you hear the laughter, you hear the reaction, you know if you're getting the reaction that you should be or not, um, and you know when a joke lands. So you have to be constantly on your toes and they will like, um, the writers will come in and if a joke didn't land properly or it did land, but they want to switch it up, um, they'll come in with a completely new line and you have to deliver it and you can't flub it up because um, it has to land for the audience. So um, you have to be constantly on your toes and it's really fun. It's really exciting. Um, and they just bring in a completely different energy that I've ever felt before to have them there and like cheering and dancing. It was so much fun. There was so much dancing going on during those live tapings. You're like, this doesn't even feel like work. <laughs> no, it didn't. No, every single day when I woke up, it did not feel like I was going to work. And I'm so grateful for that, that I found a job that it feels like I'm not working. Do you think it was easier having the live audience there? Because you know, you kind of have a different type of pressure when you're out there on set. Do you think it made it easier? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it in a way did make it easier because you got to kind of get a feel for the audience. You got to, um, once you're in that element of hearing the laughs immediately, knowing what's going to happen, it really, it kind of like got you going. And with multicam, there's a certain pace that you have to maintain. Um, it's bang, 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 the joke after joke. And so to have the audience there and have that type of energy, it's a lot easier to maintain that back and forth. Um, so yeah, I think it did make it easier for multicam. I love this. I love this insight that you bring. Cause I'm like, oh, that's so interesting. You know, kind of <laughs> hearing how, you know, it all pieces together and whatnot. So how do you, uh, you, this can be for the real role of Lola or for any of your other roles. Um, how do you usually prepare for your roles? Do you have any sort of method or something that you do prior or does it just depend on the role? It totally depends on the role. So for more dramatic roles, um, I will kind of dig deeper and try to find all the layers and a meaning for every word that's being said, um, because I think that that's really important. Um, but when it comes to uh, multicam and comedy, I think how I prepared for Lola was, um, I mean, I was really a lot like Lola. So it was kind of easy for me to do. I moved across the country and I completely had, like I restarted my life. That's something that she was going through. So I was able to hit those moments and feel those moments um, that she was feeling. Um, and then how I prepared for multicam, I guess I kind of just winged it. Um, <laughs> I had never done it before. So I just brought as much energy as I could. And um, as I got, I feel like as I got further on in the audition process, I kind of was able to build and build and build because it was super exciting. And I got more invested into it as like it continued. So I wanted it more and more. And I think that really helped me um, kind of develop the character in the beginning. And then we went through some workshops and stuff in the beginning, like multicam workshop, how they, they kind of explained how multicam works. Um, and we were able to develop our characters more. And I think it just happens over the season. Um, you kind of feel your character more and more and understand like where they're coming from. And then when it comes to lines, I typically memorize them the day of 
So like typically right before the scene, because with multicam, they will, um, they will change the lines every single night. So we'll have a run through and then they'll change any, uh, the, any jokes that they don't think worked or any lines or timing issues. So every single night you get a new script. So you can't memorize the first script because by the end, by the time you're actually filming, it's a whole new script. So um, with memorization, I, I would pick up the gist of the scene as we're rehearsing, but I would typically memorize right before we shot. That's really awesome because you don't want to you don't want to memorize a whole script and then have it be changed yeah. and be like, wait, I oh, I'm so used to this. Line stuck in your head and it's, it's yeah. really annoying. Yeah. Oh my god. So now, what would you say was your favorite episode to shoot for the show? Oh my gosh, they were all so much fun, and I have like very specific memories for each one. Um, the first one, episode four, was the first one that we actually shot. That one will always hold a special memory in my heart because um, it was the first time I'd ever done a live taping. Um, I really, really, I feel like uh, Paul and I really bonded that episode because it was us constantly going head to head, um, which was really fun. Um, so that one I really liked. And then I think the boyfriend episode was really fun. Um, it was just fun to film. I am obsessed with escape rooms. Um, I've done probably like 50 with my friends. That's like a thing we constantly do. So when I read that script and I saw that um, we were going to an escape room for the day, I was so excited. You're like, this is meant for me. Yeah, like, this is literally me. And I told them, I went to Josh and Jason, the writer, um, and I was like, did you know this about me? And they had no clue, but it worked so well. That's so cute. I liked it too because it was kind of like, you know, really sweet where it's like, you know, he doesn't really know that he's impeding on your guys' day yeah. your night's being real. And it's endearing, you know, it's endearing and it's funny. So I really, really like that. So now let's go ahead and talk about the fact that, you know, obviously your career, it's growing, you're doing more and more projects. And one of the things that I notice about people that do work for Netflix is that we start seeing them suddenly in different shows. You know, you start mm -hmm. working more within the streaming service. But what are some of your goals, you know, for the future for your acting career and all of that yeah. some short term some long-term ones as well um I really want to do drama that's something that I have yet to do since I moved out here and that's where I kind of started the t uh, the indie films that I did back in Kansas were like super dramatic at one point I had like a gun to my head in one of them so like they were very dramatic <laughs> um and so I kind of I want to definitely go back to that and try drama because um I absolutely love it. And I love like bringing so much emotion to things. Um, so that's definitely a goal of mine is to do drama. And then I think just um, more movies because I've done a lot, a lot of TV shows. So I think I want some movies in my future. That's really great. Is there anybody that you would like to work with like a certain actor or an actress or somebody that or a director that would just be like the dream for you? If I worked with Jennifer Lawrence, I think I would die. I That's have a good been one. in love with her since the Hunger Games, and then anything that she's in, I will watch. I think she is so talented. Um, my favorite movie of all time is Mother, um, which she was the star of. I just, I love her so much. She's so like raw, like everything she yeah. just says, it just feels so natural. Like that's yeah. just who she is. She's so raw. She's so real. She's so talented. Yeah, I 100% agree with you on that. Um, so now, one of the things that I want to talk about, too, is that you're not just this incredibly talented actress, but I was also hearing your uh, singing, your music, and I was like, what can this girl not do? I saw you playing your guitar. Tell us a little bit about your music and uh, some of your inspiration behind all of that. So, yeah, um, I started music. I've been playing piano a lot a while like most of my life um I actually learned a guitar for an audition um I had to be able to play guitar so I was like I guess I'm learning before <laughs> Friday but uh, you learned fast <laughs> yeah I picked up pretty quickly um and then when it comes to I write a lot of music um writing music is like I feel like my form of therapy, um, I just put all my thoughts in my words. Anytime I feel any form of strong emotion, I just pick up my guitar and I start writing. Um, and I've completely fallen in love with music and writing. Um, it's definitely something that I want to pursue in the future. Um, acting for me is my top priority, but I think music is definitely in my future. 
I feel like I can definitely see you doing like even like a song for a project that you're on, like, you know, like the feature song or something. I would so do that. (laughs) Right? That would be really awesome. And I just think that that's like such an incredible skill to have because you can do so much with it. So like seriously, like amazing job on all of that. Thank you. Um, Now we're going to go ahead and jump into like the fun portion, the extra fun portion of the interview and it's our lightning round. So basically I'm going to ask you 10 questions and just try to, about yourself and just try to answer, you're like 10 questions about what, (laughs) (laughs) um, what do you call it? Just try to answer them as fast as you can. This is just a fun way for everybody to get to know you. So we'll go ahead and do it. Are you ready for lightning round with Raylan Castor? I think I'm ready. (laughs) All right. Question number one. Aside from the big show show, what are some of your favorite shows on Netflix? Right now I'm binging Money Heist and it is literally the best thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't stop watching it. I was up till like two in the morning watching it. That's awesome. I haven't seen it, so I might have to check it out. So good. Question number two. Who are some of your favorite music artists? Oh my gosh. Um, Lana Del Rey is my favorite of all time. Frank Ocean, um, Tyler, the creator, um, all of those type of people, but Lana for sure is my number one. Such a great lyricist for sure. Oh, incredible. Question number three, what is your favorite song that you have written? Um, (sighs) before it's too late is definitely my favorite song. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> Question number four. What's your favorite way of spending downtime on set in between takes? Napping. I am constantly napping. It was a running joke on set that every time that they called me in for a scene, um, they had to wake me up. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, every single time. I would nap in chairs. I would nap in my dressing room. I would nap anywhere that I physically could. I was asleep always. So you're that person that can fall asleep anywhere. I wasn't until the show happened, and I guess I just got so tired that I developed that. That's awesome. At least you know you're working hard. Yeah. Question number five. Since moving to Los Angeles, what is your favorite thing about living here? I think the be- the nature, um, the beach. I love hiking. I think all of that's just incredible, and the people that I've met. Cool. Question number six. What was your reaction to seeing the big show show billboard on Times Square? I completely lost it. I think that's, that was one of my like childhood dreams was not only to be on a billboard, but Times Square is just a whole other level. Um, It was just the greatest experience ever. The ultimate. Yeah. I mean, what's better than that? (laughs) Question number seven. What social media app would you say you are the most addicted to? I know this is terrible, but I think I spend way too much time on TikTok. I don't make them that much, but I'm constantly scrolling. Question number eight. What is your favorite part of shooting a new project? Um, meeting the new people, the cast, um, and getting to develop new relationships with them and the characters. Question number nine. What is the best advice you could give to a young aspiring actor? Do not take rejection to the heart. I always say this. Um, You will get a hundred no's before you get your one yes. And it's something that just comes with it. And it's bound to happen, but it does not make you any less of an actor or a person. I 100% agree with that. And last one, question number 10. How would you describe yourself in three words or less? Oh my gosh. This is, (laughs) um, I am, I'm, chill um I don't know I'm I, I think I'm fun and I think I'm funny I mean I hope I'm funny um I'm so bad at that people always tell me to do that and I never know what to say <laughs> well chill and funny is like really good and I like the fact that you're like I hope I'm funny and I'm like over here laughing and I'm like you're funny like <laughs> you know, you've just got some confirmation today <laughs> that's so awesome Rayla I think you're honestly incredible I loved your work on the show I loved your music music that I've heard so far and I really love chatting with you about your career and I can't wait to see you on more shows because I'm going to be like I know her that's her gosh (laughs) thank you so much before we go let everyone know where they can follow you on all social media platforms yeah so you can follow me on instagram at raylan and then the letter c at the end um twitter is just raylan caster and I think my facebook is just raylan caster 
Awesome. Guys, make sure to check out Raylan Caster across her social media pages. Can't even talk no more. Social media pages. <laughs> and also on Netflix, you guys can now stream the big show show. So check it out. Raylan, thank you so much for this interview. And thank you everyone for watching. Do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.